When it comes to lip edema surgery, most patients are thinking about how much their deductible is going to be, how much it's going to ultimately cost them, or if they're not using their insurance, they're thinking about how much is it going to cost me to pay out of pocket for this. I want to toss all that aside today and talk about the true value of lip edema surgery. Let's talk about the value of lip edema surgery. So I think it's easy to just get caught up with the value to the surgeon and the value to the patient. But I think there's a lot of people that benefit from lip edema surgery. So I'd like to shift focus away from the cost of the surgery and the reimbursement to the surgeon and focus on the value that the surgery provides to not just the surgeon and the patient, but everyone else that's kind of involved with that patient's care. Ultimately, we're looking at value provided to the patient, to the surgeon, to the patient's employer, to the patient's family, as well as to the insurance company. And we're going to go into each one of those and talk about why there's value created for everyone and why lip edema surgery is so valuable to, to society as a whole. To the patient, I think it's pretty obvious to, to understand the benefits of lip edema surgery. Doing lip edema reduction, liposuction, can remove heaviness, tenderness. Uh, it can often help with finding clothing that fits better. Patients often have less restless legs at night. They're able to sleep better at night. Um, so that benefit is very, very obvious. Um, in terms of talking about the value, I mean, how do you attach a dollar amount to like not having pain every day or being able to like walk uh, with your family, uh, going on hikes, doing the things that you enjoy without having discomfort? I think it's really hard to attach a dollar amount to that. I think the easiest way to do it would be to say, we know from previous studies that symptomatic benefits from lip edema surgery can last up to 12 years. Unfortunately, that's about the longest data that, that anybody has published. So that's kind of what I quote all the time. So if you have benefits that last for 12 years and you can get all your surgery in a one year time period, if you look at what your deductible or your out of pocket maximum for your insurance is, you know, for most people it's somewhere in the eight to $10,000 range. So if you look at that divided by 12 years, divided by 365 days, it comes out to be about $2 and 15 cents a day. Um, so I think most patients that have lipedema that have the surgery would agree that they would happily pay you know, less than a cup of coffee, $2.15 to feel better every day for 12 years, you know, sleep better at night, be, you know, a more energetic person, progress more in their work life. Um, you know, I think lip edema surgery adds so much tangible benefits besides just the discomfort relief and, and getting rid of the heaviness. Um, it, you know, it, it often gives people more energy after surgery. Um, and I hear that from their spouses or partners that they're more energetic, they're, they're in a better mood. Um, so, you know, attaching a dollar amount to that is really, really challenging. It's worth talking about how the surgery benefits the family. So I think um, the family of patients with lipedema often feel a little bit helpless because they want, they want to help them, they want to do something. And ultimately, you can't out-exercise lipedema. You can't really out-diet lipedema to some degree. Um, and, and everyone feels a little bit helpless, and they just want to see their family member do better. So one of the nice things about lipedema surgery is that when you're doing it, you're actually allowing the family members of the spouses to participate in the healing of the patient. And what do I mean by that? You need somebody to help you recover after surgery. You get swollen, you're leaking everywhere, you need someone to help prepare foods, get you to the restroom, bathe you. You know, who fills that role but, but family? Um, you know, you don't have a nurse on standby most of the time. So it allows the family members to kind of step in and be an active participant in someone's healing. And no one really likes to remember the time where they're, you know, not so glamorous and they're leaking fluid everywhere. But what they will remember fondly upon is that their family or their friends were there to help them in their time of need to, to feel better. So it's a way for the family and friends to actively participate in your healing and making you feel better. Because like, I can do the surgery, but I unfortunately can't be there for you in your recovery. So we need to outsource that to someone else. So I think some value is provided to family members that have felt a little bit neutered in the sense that they can't help their family member get better uh, or they can't fix their lip edema no matter how much you read or how much you exercise with them, it's not gonna make a difference. But what they can do is help during the active recovery, uh, putting on compression, dealing with the bandages, preparing meals, all that stuff gives the family member some purpose and helps to provide some value in the, in the healing of their, of their loved one. One of the things that lipedema patients get caught up with a lot is how much paid time off or PTO they're going to end up needing to take because oftentimes they need four to seven surgeries to, to get the maximum amount of relief. And I think that initially it's like, oh my gosh, 
how am I going to find this much PTO or am I going to like lose my job because I'm taking off all the time? But I think it's, I would challenge you to, to ask your employer, you know, like, what did they hire you for? You were hired for something to fill, fulfill some purpose. So because you were there, there was previously some barrier that prevented them from, you know, getting the job done, making revenue, being a business, you know? So um, I think if you were not there, you know, how long would they have to spend to try to find someone that could fill your role? And how long would they have to train them up for it? I mean, these are things that take time. It can be really stressful to bring in a new a new employee, uh, train them up, get them, get them to be functioning. Uh, and ultimately, if you have someone that's not functioning at the highest level and, and doing, you know, high level work, that's going to cost the company money. Uh, so, you know, even though in the short term, patients with lipedema that are having liposuction surgery are taking PTO, I do think ultimately the surgery is valuable because if you have a patient that's calling out less over the long term um, because they feel better, they're not like moving towards disability, and they're going to stay in their job, they're more likely to get promoted in that job because they're going to be there rather than being out. Um, you know, this is not an endorsement. You're not going to be able to get promoted in your job just because you watch this video. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, if, if you're in your prime working years and you're constantly out of work over, you know, five or 10 years because you've banged up your knee or you've got some flare up of, of arthritis or you're just too tired to really get up and move um, or eventually you become so immobile that you really can't make it to work anymore, you know, you're probably not gonna progress in that job. Um, so, you know, they hired you for some reason. So by keeping you in that job and keeping you productive, I think it benefits the employer actually in the short term to just give you the PTO that you need, let you get the surgeries, and then ultimately you feel better and you're more productive. So I think the most counterintuitive part of this video is how insurance companies get value out of their subscribers having lipedema surgery. Um, you know, I think there's this adversarial relationship because lipedema surgery is challenging to get approved by insurance. So patients tend to have this, you know, they feel like they have to fight their insurance. And some insurances lag behind others in terms of getting approvals or prior authorizations. So I get that, we deal with it a lot. But um, your insurance is actually your friend in this. They're, they're the, ultimately the ones that are gonna be writing the check um, along with you to get the surgery. But I, I think that you also are, are providing value to your insurance company by having lipedema surgery, and why do I say that? If you've got some type of commercial insurance, a private insurance, or you're working for someone, and you have surgery, and you feel better, and you're able to do your job and stay in your job, you will continue to be a subscriber of that insurance. Versus if you get more and more immobile over time, or more and more disabled, you may shift out of the workforce and I mean, I've had patients in their 30s that are fully disabled. You know, they, they can barely get out of bed. So it's, it's like not hyperbolic to say that, you know, lipedema can make you disabled. So, you know, if you're in a situation where you kind of shake out of the workforce and you're on Medicare or Medicaid or something like that, you know, your insurance doesn't benefit from that. They've, they've lost you as a subscriber who's going to, you know, either you or your employer is going to be kicking in premiums to them, um, which is ultimately like how insurance companies make money. By getting surgery, staying in the workforce, staying functional, you know, the insurance companies actually benefit from this. You know, the other side is that we do things a little bit differently. We do a lot of awake surgery and your insurance can definitely derive um, some value by having surgery in that setting. Uh, why do I say that? Because if you have surgery at a hospital or a surgery center, the costs are often like thirty to $60,000 per episode of surgery, depending on if you're outpatient or if you stay overnight. Whereas, you know, if you have surgery in the office here, the cost is often between four and $7,000 per surgery. So, you know, even if you have more numerous surgeries in the office here, the, the cost of your insurance company is going to be significantly lower if they do outpatient awake procedures, you know, using only the equipment that we need and only the staff that we need. You get a group that does this every day, you know, every every single week, you know, all we focus on is lipedema. We've got it pretty dialed in in terms of the stuff that we need, uh, and we don't really waste anything. So, you know, because of that, we're able to charge significantly less for the equipment and things like that. Uh, and ultimately, your insurance company will benefit from that over time, even though in the short term, they still see that they're paying out for surgeries. The other thing that's worth mentioning about providing value to insurance companies 
after having your lipedema surgery is that it's probably going to reduce the cost of you having further unnecessary treatments. I have a lot of patients that I see that, you know, are getting into their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and they start to have orthopedic procedures that they don't necessarily get benefits from. So they're getting their knee scoped, some are getting their knees replaced, and, you know, maybe they have some arthritis. Maybe they also just have pain from lipedema around their knees. I mean, it's a very common complaint. And then typically the knee pain gets better after surgery. So I, I do wonder to myself how many patients are having unnecessary orthopedic knee scopes and knee replacements when really they would have benefited from having lipedema surgery and not that orthopedic procedure. I know that liposuction is way cheaper to an insurance company than an orthopedic procedure is. Uh, so, you know, by getting the correct diagnosis and rendering the correct treatment, um, they may be saving money in the long term by not authorizing unnecessary procedures that aren't going to provide a lot of benefit. I've certainly seen patients that had knee replacements who still have knee pain from their lipedema, and then they have liposuction, and lo and behold, the pain goes away. So um, I think that's something worth considering too. If I were an insurance company, I would I would want to consider the cost of not having to do unnecessary procedures. It's important to think about your function over time. And I think that most people think that their function will start here. And if they have lipedema and they don't do anything, it'll just slowly go down over time in a linear fashion. So, you know, you're, you just slowly get worse over time. And in my experience, no data on this, this is all like anecdotal evidence. What my patients seem to say is that they're kind of like doing well, and then all of a sudden they're not. <laughs> it's like you fall off this cliff of function, and then you kind of stabilize at this like disabled level down here. So rather than this like smooth, slow decline, it's more of like a, you're going, you're going, you're going, and then you crater off, and something happens, and it, and it causes a decrease in function. For some patients, that's like a pregnancy, and they have this blossoming of lipedema, or they go through menopause, and like everything blows up. Uh, for some, it's like they get in some type of accident or they have a hysterectomy or some, something happens where your life changes, your function dr drastically decreases. And it was like your body was just kind of getting along and then all of a sudden it's not. And then you've like stepwise dropped down to this new level of function that's significantly reduced from, from where you previously were. It would be great if we could intervene on everyone before that that stepwise drop in function happened so that you, you your body has a little bit more reserve capacity so that when life comes at you and you do have some some event that alters your level of function you don't become so you know, poorly functional or, or you know that you're basically disabled so you know I think um, as with anything uh, preventative treatment is usually better than reactive treatment uh, obviously, surgeons benefit from patients having more surgery more frequently. So, you know, I have my conflicts of interest there. But I think that the patients that I see that have surgery earlier on get more value than the patients that are 20 years down the road. And they just wish they could have gotten some treatment earlier because they knew something was off, uh, but they didn't have any mechanism to get it treated. So, you know, I think early treatment is better than late treatment. I feel pretty strongly about that. I think um, patients that are 20 or 30 years out of knowing that they've had something wrong with them, they would have happily paid a couple bucks a day to get benefit over 12 years. Even if at the end of that 12 years, patients felt like they needed to have some type of revision surgery, they would happily do it because 12 years is a really long time to feel good about yourself and, and you know feel comfortable in your skin and be able to do things with your family and your loved ones. So, you know, I think with lipedema surgery, it's this really interesting thing where not just the patient and the surgeon benefit, but also your employer can benefit because you stay in the workforce. Um, you know, I, I, we joke that your your 30s are for learning and your 40s are for earning in medicine. Uh, so, you know, those are like the most productive decades of your life, your 30s and your 40s. So you don't want to be kind of like in and out of work, getting less functional, maybe shaken out of the workforce in, in your kind of prime career years. Uh, and then ultimately, I think, as we discuss the cost savings to doing awake procedures, uh, cost savings of not doing unnecessary orthopedic procedures, and keeping patients in the workforce so they continue to be subscribers of insurance, um, that, helps the, that helps to drive up the value of lipedema surgery uh, for an insurance company. So uh, kind of a esoteric topic today, uh, something that I think about because uh, I do think that people get a lot of benefit out of this surgery. And I think it was worth mentioning some of the other groups, you know, like the family members that it's not so obvious sometimes, but I think when you really sit down and critically, critically think about it, everybody wins with the surgery. And it's probably because we're, we're adding so much value to a patient's life. We're making them functional and making them feel better. And by doing that, you know, everybody else around them kind of 
flourishes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you think I'm completely nuts um, in the comments. Uh, I probably won't respond to those, but if you have some nice things to say, I'll respond to those. But uh, I always enjoy making these videos and kind of sharing my thoughts about lipedema. And thank you for your time and for watching. Bye.